Toi ma mwengo watu DJ Hey Sultan watu DJ Alaya alo watu DJ Mko watu DJ Sati bifon ya lo nesen komi watu DJ Viewers, welcome to another edition of the Wado TJ Show. This is your presenter, Modul Amin Jame, aka the Sultan. With me here is a special guest, and I will create him the opportunity to introduce himself. Welcome to the program, sir. <laughs> yeah, man, respect, man. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, man, thank you. So Would you please mind to introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, actually, my name is um, Stylus. You can call me Stylus, actually, real name Jibril Janko. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the invitation. I want us to talk about a lot of things mm -hmm. in regards to your, your work as a producer. Mm -hmm. um, you've been in the music industry for so long. Mm -hmm. Stylus, yeah. uh, why choosing music production as a career? I inherited it from my father. Yeah. Understand, um, my father was a drummer. Mm -hmm. Actually, my mother too sings. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's from the family, actually, you know, and then the love too, you know, is there, you know. Meaning you are a griot. I'm not. Actually, I'm a blacksmith, pure one. Yeah. That's why I call myself Numuforo. <laughs> <laughs> Love yeah, man. So, Love uh, me, yeah. actually, yeah, but I believe that, you know, actually is in the blood and then the love, passion, <laughs> yeah. stuff like that, you know, but definitely it's from the blood, you know. Tell us some of your achievements in music. Yeah, well, uh, this music actually gives thanks. I achieved a lot in the Gambia here. I yeah. have a lot, lot, lot of achievement, like meeting uh, some bigger people. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you that actually I meet this guy and then this guy, or this guy comes to my studio, mm -hmm. you don't even believe me. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, some stuffs are there, those ones that, you know, I cannot say them. Yeah. You understand? But like, I got a lot of stuff, you know, because mm -hmm. I'll be just sitting down and somebody just come and then offer me. Mm -hmm. something because of the love mm -hmm. and then you know i believe the hard work too is there mm -hmm. you understand yeah. mm -hmm. so those ones is not necessary mm -hmm. and then the other things you know like the achievements you mm -hmm. know those ones everybody's seen mm -hmm. you understand from the beginning you know where mm -hmm. i started from till now you know you can see the achievement like yeah. if, if you go to my studio where uh, you know the time that i was starting the music you know it was with um what type of mic i was mm -hmm. using but maybe you know they can yeah. explain it better you know yeah. that was 2000, actually 2008, mm. 9, around 10, 2010. Mm. So you started your career in 2008. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was, I, I don't call it like a career, yeah, a career. Actually, because I started recording properly, mm. I mean, um, 2010. 2010. Yeah, 2010. Like you've been recording. in the business for like eight, nine years? Something like that. Mm -hmm. was, yeah, 2010 I started recording. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the production side, that one seriously into it, mm -hmm. mm, that was, 2014. Yeah. Yeah, 2014. Yeah. Stylish Records established mm -hmm. in Costa Road, and then yeah. started working. But if yeah. you see, if you come on, if you flash back mm -hmm. from that time mm -hmm. till now, mm -hmm. actually you're gonna see the changes. You're yeah. gonna know that oh, this guy, you know, achieved something. Yeah. Though it's not much, but mm -hmm. actually give thanks. What is the secret behind your success? Actually, there is no secret in it, you know. I believe it's just the hard work and the determination and mm -hmm. the stuff like that, you know, yeah. the focus, you know, mm -hmm. and then the love for yeah. it, you know, the person. Yeah, yeah man, so uh, there is no secret, you know. That's mm -hmm. all I know about, you know. It's yeah. just the hard work and then mm -hmm. with the good people, you know, mm -hmm. good ideas and stuff like that, yeah, man. How many readings have you produced? <laughs> mm, I think now is. Uh, like personally, you know, from my own studio, you know, I have some other rhythms that um, those are, you know, just for promotional. Yeah. I don't count them in. Yeah. But like um, the rhythms that I produce, you know, like is up to now six. Six rhythms. I believe six. You know. Which one? Which one is so the best among the six? <laughs> some actually all to me, all yeah. of them are actually okay. Yeah. To me, you understand, all of them are okay, and then all of them are. The best, you understand? I call them the best. <laughs> in the rhythm that I produce, 
is just the best. Why, why, why do you call them the best? You know, because anything that I put my hands on, I believe in that, you know, is always the best. I believe, you understand? Because I always put everything in it. Meaning you are the best? Yeah, I'm yeah. the best. <laughs> I'm the best in what I do. I'm Tell us some of your, your, your projects in, in your entire career. Yeah, um, actually, I, I have some bigger projects. You, you know, I think you listen to Honey Flow, mm -hmm. um, uh, Perfection. Mm -hmm. Um, you have one more. paper rhythm, yeah, yeah. Before one more, actually, uh, I got paper rhythm wicked yeah. all over the world. Everybody, you know, just go, you know, are going for it actually. Mm -hmm. Still now, the same thing, but you know what? I got you know some new projects, you know, those ones are bigger than myself. You know, really, yeah. yes, yes. I got new name, projects. name, name one for me. <laughs> Kora with it's coming. Wow, that's yeah. big, that's really big, you know. Wow, yeah, that's really big. I have maybe like. Maybe, probably, you know, we'll be having like, you know, uh, um, one international artisan. Actually, we have one already. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, maybe we'll be having another artist from Jamaica. I'm not very much sure yet. It's not yet confirmed, but likely. I have another bigger project coming. One Gambia Rhythm. Yeah, it's a big project. One Gambia Rhythm. One Gambia Rhythm. You understand one Gambia rhythm. You can know, you so. can you name few artists that you think are going to be part of that one Gambia that rhythm? rhythm? You know, Jaliba started recording. I'll just stop there. You know, so the others, you know, I will not even mention them. If really? Jaliba, ENC? ENC? Um, nope. ENC is not on it. Actually. ST Bilkamaboyo. ST is on, is not on it because he. Jalimadi. Jalimadi is not on it. T Smalls. <laughs> T Smalls, nope. <laughs> T Smalls is not on it actually. You know, I. I did it this way, okay, you know, you have Bala Ranks, probably, you know, that didn't going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, Jelly Keba too, the same mm -hmm. thing, because I'm still waiting for those three people yeah. to come and then voice. You One know, Jelly started recording yeah. already, yeah. you know, but I got a lot of artists mm -hmm. on it though. Mm -hmm. Sophia, A2, Royal, mm -hmm. um, Seth Ngom. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I, I got a lot of artists on it, you know, even tougher artists supposed to record on it. It's just like I'm working on the Coral Wave, so yeah. I don't want to touch that one yet, you understand? So I'm giving those people time mm. to actually rehearse or watch whatever, mm. you understand? I believe, you know, actually they are going to be on it, you know, mm -hmm. I believe, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much do you charge per song? Actually, the artist knows it, you know. Actually, it's not necessary <laughs> to say that. No, it's necessary. We need to know. Yeah, you know, the artist, if you yeah. come to the studio for recording yeah. or whatsoever, yeah. I tell you, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, okay, I call myself like the cheapest studio in the Gambia. Wow. You understand? Because no matter, no matter what, you understand, if you're counting studios in the Gambia, you must count stylists. Yeah. You understand? I mean, the best studios in the Gambia, you must count stylists. If you don't count us like, you know, the first, then you're going to be the second one. But I believe it's the first one. You understand? That's what I believe in. Stylist, mm. mention few big artists you have worked with. Okay, when we, in, in terms of big artists, actually in the Gambia, mm. almost all. Really? Call it a, um, uh, yeah, almost all. And then even the people that, you know, who mm. didn't, don't, actually don't, didn't have the chance to work with me, mm. they actually, I know that they, they want to work with me. Yeah. You understand? To be honest, you understand? I mean, I mean the big artists. Mm. You understand? The big artists that we call right now in the Gambia, the new generation, all of them are work with them, even the old one, almost all. You understand? You have mm. Tismals, you have ENC, you have Royal Messenger, you have Safia, you have Sesngom, you have um, even Jaliba. Yeah. You understand? You, you have um, Balarans, mm. MLK, Viper, uh, actually uh, Jizul. You know them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who is your favorite among all these artists you've mentioned? Mm, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, the mm. truth is people always ask me about this. To be honest, mm. me, to be honest, all of them are my favorite. Because they are having different, different vibes, mm -hmm. understand? So if this other one comes, mm. so he comes with, you know, or she comes with, you mm. know, a different vibe that mm -hmm. I love so much, mm. understand? So I think um, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's okay, let's, 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 let's take it from this area. Mm. Um, you deal with a lot of, uh, you know, areas, mm -hmm. and um, that involves dancehall, Afro-manding, hip-hop, reggae, reggae Afrobeat, Afro -beat, trap, and you know, trap. Mm. When it comes to reggae, who is your favorite artist? In the Gambia. In the Gambia. 
This guy is among the people that I read so much, you know, Royal Messenger. Yeah. When you comes to, you know, like reggae, mm -hmm. I always enjoy him. I always, I mean, I always keep on loving mm -hmm. you know, when he's recording mm -hmm. because the actions and then other stuff like that I enjoy actually working with him, you know, stuff like that, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a look at the Gambia's music industry. Mm -hmm. What is your view about it? Yeah, for now, you know, actually it's going good. Sure, it's going good, you know, it's going good because I'm seeing like a lot of upcoming artists doing good. Now it is, you know, like people that have four songs are always amazing, you understand? Like you will just come to the studio for the first time and then you record something, a very classic, nice song. You understand? Those days it never happens like that. Your first song have to be like whack, you understand? Nobody can, li in the next two years time, you know, you, you cannot listen to that song again <laughs> because you will be maybe shy or feeling bad when listening to that mm. myself you know like i know about it mm. it happens to me you know those days i used to record my first records were done in brigama here mm. at kinzai so kinzai thumbs up something like that yeah mm. but those songs right mm. now <laughs> no <laughs> even kinzai when he played for me i would tell him that bro please uh, don't do that man yeah yeah so you 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 are a producer and equally a, a singer yeah i'm a singer writer yeah songwriter yeah, songwriter i'm a songwriter you know like uh, I do a lot of stuff, you know. Mm. Just excite, you know, I'm there. You want, you know, me to write a song for you, I'm there. You want me to even make a melody for you, only a melody on a song, I'm there. Understand? You just want me to direct, you know, good for you, I'm there. It's so like you, you do everything when it comes to music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's beautiful. Sure. Are you still A2 manager? Uh, okay, A2, you know, yeah, those days, you know, like I was actually managing him. Now it is, you know, like, I, you know, because when you reach to a certain level, you know, I always love, you know, to leave you, you do your things. Mm. You know, I'm just kind of like a brother since the beginning. Yeah. You know, I was like a brother to him. You know, I direct him, tell him that, no, you don't have to do this. I help him and stuff like that. But that is a level that, you know, like when you reach, yeah. I always leave you, you know, and then yeah. you do your things. You know? Yeah. So it means you are normal his manager. Yeah, but still. I'm um, his actually number one brother yeah. in his music career. Career. I was told that you brought him into music. Is this true? Uh, you know, people have been saying that, you know, but, you know, people, if you, if you don't know something, you don't know. Yeah. A too, I met him, you know, actually, it's a long story, actually. Yeah. I, actually, I will not explain everything, but like A too, I, you know, heard of him. Yeah. And then I'm like interested. And then I called him, tell him that, yeah, I want for us to work. So maybe what people, uh, actually, why people always say that, because maybe that those days people don't know him, understand, before I met with him, something like that. So the time that we met, I brought him and then, you know, like, you know, start giving him, you know, like, you know, records and then other stars promoting him all over, something like that. So maybe that's why people always say that. But like, bringing somebody into music, that means maybe you, taught him music, yeah. something like that, you taught him, something like that. Yeah. I, to my own suggestion, I think that's what maybe, maybe that's what they mean, actually, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't bring it yeah. into the music. Mm -hmm. I met A to doing his music. Mm -hmm. I just uh, came up, you know, mm -hmm. to develop him and mm -hmm. then, you know, like push him to the world. Mm -hmm. That's all. And then yeah. that was a promise. I did it. Yeah. He knows it. That's, yeah, man. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, the discussion is getting more and more interesting. Yeah. But before we call it off, I would want us to look at uh, what? One Maridim. One Maridim, what I did for the upcoming. The upcoming, yeah. Yeah, I did it for the let's, upcoming. Let's then, take a look at that. Yeah, it was nice, to be honest, you know. And then thank God that One Maridim, you know, pushed a lot of young coming artists, you know. Mm -hmm. Because of that One Maridim, it makes, you know, a lot of people to respect them, to recognize them. Mm -hmm. I achieved something in this One Maridim stuff, you know which I will never ever forget about it. I got, you know, this huge love, you know, from Brikama. So definitely I would yeah. say this big thing. Actually, I, I cannot thanks, you know, actually, any of yeah, these yeah. people, Brikama people, yeah. what they did. So the rhythm was limited to only Brikama? No. The rhythm is like, the uh, first part is recorded with some other artists. Some Brikama artists are part of it well. That's the part one. So the part two, you know, I just decided, you know, to put only Brikama artists on it. You know, why? Because, you know, you cannot come to somebody's, you know, homeland and then, you know, try to launch something there. Oh, yeah. You don't involve, yeah. actually, the artists that are there. So it's better to promote them, along, uh, actually, along. Mm -hmm. And then, I think, 
they can explain it better because it did good for a lot of artists yeah. in it. You understand? Whether Brickama or the other outside artists, yeah. it did a lot, lot for everybody. Well, you could have used another name better than Wanma. Why Wanma? It depends to you how you take it. You know, one man, if you want to take it anyhow, yeah. no problem. So it depends, you know. But I know that it do take, you know, you know, it took the attention of the ladies, boys, even old people. Everybody loved that name, you understand? So we choose it, you know, just to take the as attention of everybody and then to put it in our own local language. Because when I say one man, reading, everybody will be, and even yourself, I know that you were like, you were interested, you know, in the, in the reading. What is this one man? What, what, what is the meaning of one man? Something like that, you know. Thank you very much. Uh, before we mm -hmm. uh, come to the conclusion of this session, mm -hmm. uh, finally, what would you want to tell the audience? Big thanks to everybody, you understand, watching this or listening. Understand? Thanks to everyone. Appreciate everything, and then you. Actually, thanks for the invitation. You're Though welcome. it's a surprise, you know, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I thought that maybe it's just radio interview and then stuff like that. So, but actually, I'm grateful. So happy to be here. And then the fans, let them watch out, you know, for new stops coming. And as a coral wave is just loading. Um, and then more rhythms are loading too. So watch out for bigger things, to be honest, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you very yeah, much. Man. Thanks so much, man, for your yeah. time. Yeah, man. Thank Thanks you. So much. Uh, viewers, here comes the completion of our today's discussion with Stylis, a producer in the Gambia. This is the Wato TJ show, and this is your presenter, Modulam in Jame, a.k.a. The Sultan. Do not forget to click a like on our Facebook page and equally subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wato TJ, thank you for joining us.